Howdy everybody, welcome back to Alk Number Barbecue. Today I'm going to show you my new favorite way to make ribs with a surprising ingredient, zesty Italian dressing. These ribs came out super tender, super juicy. Let me show you how I did it. Start with using two racks of the St. Louis style pork ribs from HEB. These are the natural pork ribs, no hormones, no additives. We'll get these out of the package, get them all trimmed up. Looks like the little flat meat, the little skirt has already been removed from these ribs, so we won't have to take that off. I'll go ahead and take off this thin muscle on the top here. This tends to slide off when you try to slice them. It's easier just to take it off from the start. Now to take this membrane off, we'll slide a butter knife in here, try to separate it from the ribs, grab it with your finger, grab it with a paper towel if you need to, and pull it off. Now I'll go ahead and take off this last little thin bone at the end tends to pull out once the ribs are done, so I'll go ahead and take it off now. And just go ahead and do the same with the second rack. Take this thin piece of meat off here on the end. We'll trim off the small bone here on the end round these corners off. Now these look good, let's get them in the marinade. I'm going to use these marinade bags from HEB. These are the perfect size for marinating ribs. They're long enough for ribs, deep enough to put a couple of racks in there. I'll go ahead and put these ribs in here and then we'll add the Italian dressing. Now for the marinade, we'll be adding this zesty Italian dressing from Kraft. You know, primary ingredients are vinegar, oil, garlic, bell pepper. How can that be bad? Now just give these a shake to mix up the dressing. Try to get as much air out as you can as possible. Now we'll pop these in the fridge overnight. These marinate about 12 hours. So now I'll get these in the fridge and I'll show you what they look like tomorrow. And here we are the next day. Definitely a pretty significant color change. You can't tell, but these ribs are definitely heavier than they were when I put in there. They definitely soaked up a lot of that marinade. Now I'm going to keep the rub simple today. I'm just going to be using kosher salt and coarse ground black pepper. Starting with the bone side, we'll get an even layer of salt and pepper on this bone side. Flip them over and we'll get an even layer on the meat side. These look good. Let's get them out on the smoker. cooking these today on the Workhorse Pits 1975T. I've got the smoker running at 250 degrees. Now I'll go ahead and get these on the smoker. 
I plan on smoking these at 250 degrees for the first three hours. And here we are after three hours. These ribs are looking good. Nice reddish brown mahogany color. That salt pepper looks good on there. Let's go ahead and take them off and wrap them. I'll go ahead and wrap these in a single layer of heavy duty foil. I'll wrap them meat side down. I'm not putting anything inside the wrap. I want to have the full flavor of these ribs when they come out. Now these are gone back on the pit for another 45 minutes. Still at 250 degrees. And here we are after 45 minutes. I go ahead and unwrap these. I'm going to put sauce on one. I'm going to leave one without sauce. I'll go ahead and brush on some of this sweet Baby Ray's sauce on this one rack. These will cook for about another 10-15 minutes. Kind of let the bark dry up a little bit. Let this sweet Baby Ray's tack up a little bit. Get sticky and sweet. And here we are. Here's the rack that was left without sauce. Here's the sauce rack. Let's cut into the unsauce rack first. Get a center cut rib here, see what it tastes like. Nice little smoke ring. Look at that juice. It's dripping from this rib. Let's get a taste. Super moist. That's a delicious rib. Now let's try the sauced ribs. Also very juicy. Nice little smoke ring. Let's give this one a taste. Yep, perfectly cooked. Nice bite through. That is a super juicy rib. Well everybody, I think this is my new go-to way of making ribs. This Italian dressing really adds a crazy amount of moisture to these ribs. You don't taste an Italian dressing taste. You do taste a, a richness. You taste a little bit of that garlic coming through. It's just an excellent rib. Thanks for watching.